the idea of this ex this assignment is to show you the concept of how the fragments go will move on an electrophoresis ge gel. You're going to produce a DNA sequence and then you're going to use the um, restriction enzymes to cut that DNA sequence and then you're going to plot that on the electrophoresis. So the first thing, make sure you have those two papers and you will need scissors, tape, and a pen. First of all, you have here the DNA sequence that you're going to be running on this gel. And here is the restriction enzyme that you will work with, CCCGGG. And where it cuts is right in the middle of CCCGGG. So first of all, you're going to cut out the ten, the ten, these 10 fragments and then you're going to attach them together to make one master DNA sequence. So how I'm going to cut this um, paper here. I would tell you to cut this way. Leave the little tail at the end here. This is important for you to leave it there so you can attach one to the other. We're going to put this together and look like a food channel so you don't get bored while we're cutting all this. So what you do now, you just get a piece of tape and you attach one on two Two on three, three on four, four on five, four and six, six and seven, seven and eight. So you cut out all those 10, 10 fragments and you attach them all together to make one DNA sequence. That's your master sequence. Now we're going to cut that DNA using the SMA1, which is the restriction enzyme. How do you do that? You're going to find on this sequence, that would be what the enzyme would be doing, find where there is CCC, GGG, that is where the enzyme would cut. So the first place I see, I will mark and I will be cutting it in a little bit. Then you go through the whole sequence that would be in real life if they go through all the whole sequence until they find another spot where the, the restriction enzyme would cut. And that's what you do on this exercise. You go all the way through the sequence trying to find another one. There it goes. There's another one here and another one here. So you keep marking them just like we did in the first one. After that, what you do is you're going to cut really cut just like the restriction enzyme would do is specifically on that spot. So here's what the enzyme would be doing. Snip. Cut specifically on that, spe that spot. The, the idea would be this would be all together and then you're going to run that on a electrophoresis gel. So now what would happen is they would, all these DNA fragments would be running down the gel and where they stay, that's what they're marking. You would be marking that to show how they would stay, they would be represented in this electrophoresis gel. And you're gonna count how many of the bases you have mm -hmm. And after counting, you come up with a number. If it's 90, you mark right here. That will be the location of that one. Then you get the ne next fragment and you count. And let's pretend this was about 45. So you go here. This is about 45. And you're going to mark 
here. And so that's how you go and you mark all the fragments. You would have 10 lines all the way here. That would be the representation of how those fragments of DNA would be set on the electrophoresis gel. Now, knowing you have the DNA sequence, the master DNA sequence, you have a probe that you can attach to recognize that, that site that you're looking for. And when you're using a probe, knowing that the DNA sequence was written from 5 to 3, this one is 3 to 5. And what you need to look for is a spot where you find the correspondent. And correspondent means if the probe hit, the probe is GGAT, you're looking for CCTA and so on. So you're going to match where this um, location is. And once you have it there, that's where the probe would at attach to that fragment. Whichever fragment you find out that the probe is attaching, that's where you're going to mark here on your, uh, on your sheet. So if it was here, you're just going to mark here. Now you know that this is the fragment that you're looking for because the, the probe located it for you.